Wellington, New Zealand. Not just the political centre of the nation, but a cultural capital. This bustling boutique city is nestled in a stunning harbour, a melting pot of culture, cuisine, movies and music. The Wellington region itself is surrounded by dramatic coastlines, rugged hills and many valleys. Such varied landscape is perfect typography for a wide array of golf courses. And one particular golf course holds a very rare place within the global golfing landscape. Royal Wellington is one of just 66 golf clubs in the world that have been conferred the royal title by the British royal family. So when the Heratonga course completed a two-year redesign, it was the perfect occasion to invite golfing dignitaries from around the world to celebrate a new era for this picturesque Parklands course. We've built a very fine golf course and we wanted the world to see what we've done. So it, this was an opportunity to showcase it uh, to a very influential group of people. From the furthest north, they've come from the Royal Dornick Golf Club and obviously St Andrews and the Royal and Ancient Golf Club have sent their most senior representatives. We've got three or four people from Canada, of course Australia, Hong Kong, uh, Czechoslovakia, France, uh, Ireland. And so it's a pretty broad representation of the old world of uh, golf. There's uh, wonderful celebrations going on. And with such esteemed company, it was important to show off not only Royal Wellington, but golf in the region. With Paraparam Beach, which we recognise as one of New Zealand's golfing treasures, Wellington now has some of the finest golfing opportunities in the country. Royal Wellington's opening was a chance to give golf's heavy hitters a glimpse of the course's $6.5 million makeover. Guests of honour included design team Scott McPherson and Greg Turner, a New Zealand Open winner turned architect. Well, it's always been a fantastic property, you know, and a beautiful place to be. You know, the golf was, was, was OK, um, you know, but it just wasn't compelling. So I think the first recognition, I guess, was, was boy, with a property like this and the budget that they had to go ahead and make some changes and the opportunity to build on the natural features was really there. So, you know, those uh, incredible foliage they've got out there and the spring streams, I mean, those were the two key assets and then just creating great backdrops. So that was sort of the, the puzzle to unlock. We had land that was so beautiful for golfing, but we weren't showing it off as well as we could. We started about four years ago and it took us just over two years, two and a quarter years, and we have entirely transformed the old course. We've gone back to five of the 1908 holes, four or five brand new holes, and the rest were the existing corridors of uh, part of the golf course, but we sometimes play them in reverse. Attending Royal Wellington's opening party were the secretary and captain of the most prestigious club of all, the Royal and Ancient of St Andrews. Well, it would be easy to ignore New Zealand, wouldn't it, from so far away as Scotland, but it's, it's, it's a wonderful country and it's got such a great golf tradition. It's a, becoming a, a great golf destination. The purpose of the trip was to attend the opening of the new course here at Royal Wellington. It's not an easy course. The architects have done a, an excellent job, I think. And I think it's, it's got the, the capability of hosting some pretty major professional and, and elite amateur events, I really do. If you're just off your game, you're going to be in a lot of trouble here. You've got to be right on top of your game to, to, to score well. Royal Wellington's opening week was a chance to show their international guests another dimension of Wellington golf. Just 30 minutes from Hiratanga is Paraparaumu Beach Golf Club. These fabled links are familiar feel for those from Royal Golf Clubs in Britain and Ireland and they're a favourite of New Zealand golfing royalty. I'm sure a lot of them are uh, from all around the world are playing here for the first time and it's great to see them playing a, a traditional Lynx course which certainly in New Zealand are few and far between and this is far and away the, uh, the epitome of, of a Lynx course. Golfing VIPs enjoyed Wellington golf in its many guises and the courses in the region are known well by a man who spends much of his working life in the capital city, Prime Minister John Key. Within sort of Paraparam and uh, Royal Wellington, you've got both a, an absolutely brilliant Lynx course, but also just a magnificent course like Royal Wellington. And Greg Turner's done a brilliant job here. It's tough. I've played here a couple of times. Uh, the greens are always very, very challenging, and sometimes you uh, manage to hit them all right, but you also go rolling off the other end. So what a brilliant way to come and have a fantastic experience uh, in Wellington and in New Zealand when it comes to golf. 
And those sentiments were echoed by those who have travelled from Royal Golf Clubs around the world. Oh, it's been wonderful. There's been members from a number of Royal Clubs, from uh, Canada, from the UK, from Australia, obviously. I think they've done a wonderful job. You know, some of the holes are just terrific, the way they've got the, the streams running through it and the, the water on a number of holes. It's, it's just made it a challenge, but, but, but fun to play. The new course is uh, a stunning golf course. Yesterday was a joy for me, obviously, because it was very like our uh, home uh, course. But uh, I know that everyone enjoyed playing both courses. Golf is a wonderful fraternity, and it's been uh, just a, a great pleasure to meet so many wonderful people from around the world. A who's who of the golfing world giving this new design the royal seal of approval. Look, it's a fantastic grouping of lovers of the golf game from all around the world. You know, they wouldn't come to New Zealand en masse for anything other than something like this, so it's great to have them here. And, and you know, playing at Paraparam, as we did yesterday, I mean, what a juxtaposition, a really world-class links, best condition I've ever seen it in, I think, just up the road from one of the fine examples of parkland golf. So the two of them together, being able to show that off to, you know, some of the great lovers of the game from around the world, I mean, Great fun and, and really good for New Zealand, I think.